Yo, what up, what up fam? My name is Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. I'm going out here for a quick dinner rush. This guy was going to take the stop sign. I got to be careful around here. Earlier, they were looking for somebody. There was a high speed pursuit that ended like two blocks that way. North, south, I mean. They were looking for this guy. I heard the helicopters in the morning. I live down the street like he crashed and then just ran off and then hid somewhere pretty sure they brought the canines most likely found them but they had all the streets, clo streets closed off anyway another day in LA it's gonna be a cool day I'm just gonna go out for a quick dinner rush it's uh what time is it it's 4 30 be out here for a few hours just trying to make 100 150 and uh, yeah, just chill out, getting ready to bounce. I'm gonna go to San Diego. Woo, soon. I think maybe tomorrow or Thursday, I'm about to bounce, go over there and do some deliveries. Explore the city. Excited about that. Anyways guys, let's have a little fun today and get some money. Let's get it. So it's, uh, it says that I got on DoorDash and it says it's gonna take five to 15 minutes to get an order here in downtown LA. Now it is Tuesday, it's kind of expected, but it's a little too long. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to Silver Lake Market for, for that area. Let's go baby. Let's cut all these cars. <laughs> I got a motorcycle that's behind me too. Let's do it baby. So I came out to uh, Hollywood Silver Lake Market. We'll see what I get out here. It says that it's not busy. It got it grayed out. But I got priority status so I can jump on anywhere, anytime, any market. Oh, by the way, my ratings. I got 93% acceptance rate, 100% completion rate. And I got like 230 something deliveries done it within the last 30 days. So even when it updates tomorrow, because it's gonna, the requirements are going to change starting tomorrow. And I think it's higher, but I meet all the requirements. Oh man, let's see if I can see what it is. But it's like four, oh, and a 4.8 customer rating. Instead of 4.7, it's 4.8. I'm at 4.87, so I'm just like barely right there. Just I'm just one bad rating away from losing my my uh, platinum status. Did I say priority status? I'm at platinum status, and I think it's like uh, you need to have like 150 deli or 200 deliveries then within the last 30 days. I don't know. Everything just went up. It just makes it more challenging. I think they want less people on there. I'm not sure why they're doing it. I mean, they're getting away with it. So they're just tightening their, their restrictions. So that's why I haven't even logged on yet. I got I waited to be around the good restaurants. Okay, now I'm going to jump on. Boom. Yep, like right in the middle of a hot spot. Over here it says it's going to take two minutes to six minutes to get an order. So I guess it's either less saturated here or it's busier or both. But on like five minutes to 15 minutes in downtown LA, that's that's really bad. It's probably a lot of people there right now. So I bounced. Was this a good move? We're gonna see. Damn, bro. I got hit with this $26 delivery for nine miles. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm super down. Going all the way to um, somewhere north of Glendale. Where is this restaurant? Oh, it's right here. 
26 bucks for <laughs> first delivery of the day i'm going far i kind of like this though i don't want to be like doing all these little ass orders so this is cool it's gonna let, let's just say this is take me an hour the only shitty part about this is that it's gonna leave me in a market that i do not like which is glendale let's park right here but for 26 bucks shit let's get it bet you it's not even a big order it's just far it's just a mileage oh shit it is a big order nine well it's nine items uh man i don't even know what all this is Raida, mixed tandoori grill paneer tikka tarka dal naan paratha all this just sounds fire it's indian food indian food has like i don't know if you guys like indian food but when the, all the times i've had it i've always loved it i'm like damn i could have probably been indian in my past life damn i worked out this morning my legs feeling a little weird Pretty sure I'm gonna have to wait. For uh, this one, Hanifa. No, this just coming over. All right. Uh, five, All right. So how much time you think? Uh, Fifteen minutes. That's cool. I'll wait. Thanks. I get twenty minutes. I'm just gonna take my helmet off and chill. Well, well, well. I got another pickup for fourteen bucks with Uber. I'm gonna go get it. Let's kill some time. He said it was gonna be done in like 15 minutes. It's already been like eight minutes. So what I'm gonna do is just go down the street and pick up at California Cafe Kitchen. California Chicken Cafe. I dude, I've been doing this for years. And I still can't remember this restaurant's name. And I got something messed up. I'm missing something in, in my head. Bunch of screws and who knows? Well, someone threw a wrench in there, or maybe I fell on my head. Who knows? But California, California Chicken Cafe. That's where I'm going. 14 bucks. So these two orders here is $40 just to get started for today. That's wild. I like it. So glad I came over here <laughs> it was a good move right off the bat the first two I didn't even decline anything it was literally my first two offers the first one was on DoorDash and the first one on uber BAM baby 20 uh, 40 bucks 14 and, and 26 although since I am leaving the restaurant from the DoorDash pickup I hope DoorDash doesn't penalize me for doing this I know there's been uh, there's been times in the past where I leave the restaurant I check in and then I leave the restaurant to go get another order then when I come back I pick up maybe like past the 10 minutes that I was supposed to pick up and it marks me late to the store which is strange and I hope it doesn't do that this time I could dispute it though if that happens Hello. Hello, how are you? Doing good in yourself? Doing well. Did you know? Uh, yeah, I got a pickup for, for Seda K for Uber. Seda. Seda K? Yeah. With S, right? Yeah, S. Okay. Seda K. Alright, thank you. They have this little drive through here on the sidewalks. They don't want you to stop. So they want to just be efficient with it. I have to get off though. Doesn't look like anything's ready. Oh, it is. Yes. Sweet. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will. I'll confirm it right now. I'm going to keep this shit. That other one might fit on this side. It's a big order. I think everything should fit in one bag, though. Masala has a lot of sauces and breads that people order on the side, like extras. It's nine items, but it's probably only food for like two people. It's just only one bag. Since it's a long journey, I'm just gonna add a little extra security. Stick it to the adhesive. Stick the panel. 
there and uh, I'm just gonna do this uh, closest one here which is 15 minutes away for the Uber Eats order let's go oh it's 529 so I literally been just kind of chilling I got the Uber Eats order at 510 was it 5 uh, no it was like 514 or 510 who knows anyway I'm good I got I got a lot of time I ended up buying another one of these motorcycle flannels with elbow pads shoulder pads and a back pad the only problem is that I, I ordered a 2x and they and I got a 3x instead I put it next to the other one and yeah it's a little bigger slightly like not even noticeable I was like man this shit took forever to arrive it took like a week and a half and I'm not about to you know refund it or, or try to get it in exchange it's gonna take too long plus I put it on I was like all right yeah it's, it's I got a little extra more room so I just kept it so now I got a 2x and a 3x this is a 3x I could put I guess with the extra room I could put I could wear stuff during winter underneath and it won't feel so so tight plus uh your boys I haven't drank in like a month I don't plan to drink anymore so I could definitely feel me losing weight just by not drinking and then I, I just got my weights today too so your boy gonna be lifting shit so yeah I might, I might uh I might have to start buying smaller stuff <clears throat> smaller clothing anyway it's pretty cool red fan out the other one I got is gray pretty legit I haven't actually tested it fully meaning I haven't fallen but so far for comfort and wearing something casual but some with some protection on it pretty awesome first drop went off smoothly there was this big ass dog though in their yard it was fenced up but that dude was huge he reminds me of that one movie from uh it was um it was like uh these kids that were playing baseball and there was this dog over the fence and they like hit the ball one day over that gate man it's a classic I can't believe I don't remember the name but yeah he looked like that dog <laughs> but he looked like he was scared he like he was barking and then he like kind of went towards near the like he was barking he ran back and he was just barking off the like the corner he was ready to just run it's like an old dog still though that dude was massive if he would have got out would have ran out all right so this delivery is 4.7 miles away it's up in the hills for sure hopefully we get some scenic views can't even pay 40 bucks for this ride So this ended up being uh, it has a $20 tip and 8.75 uh, base pay so 29 bucks rounded off nice and um, where the hell did I come from 
I already forgot. I kind of want to go explore, but there doesn't seem to be much around here. Shout out to my customers. $20 tip. She came out and grabbed the food. Was like, thank you. I was like, thank you. <laughs> Shit. Alright, so, well, I guess I got $3 more. Let's add that on here. So I'm at 43 bucks. Yeah, boy. So, I could make a right and go to a boring Glendale. Uh, hashtag no tippers. Or I could just go no left and go to La Crescenta, Tohanga, and Sunland, which is a market I've never worked at before. I really don't think I ever worked at market. So let's do it. It is market mayhem still, even though I haven't worked like this whole week. Kind of feels like a week. All right, let's do it. Market mayhem. We, we're uh, we're going to La Crescenta, Montrose, Tohunga, Sunland. So those are the little cities slash towns. That's where I'm going. And I don't believe I am on the sensor. Oh, 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 I got the sensor. Cool. So on DoorDash, it's Crescenta Highlands Market. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I thought that car was going to get right in front of me. Had a honk, just as a precaution. All right, according to DoorDash, I'm entering a hotspot. And it looks like it. It looks like very... Uh, we're into like a very commercial area where there's a lot of uh, businesses so good sign check it out mountains right there those are angeles crest mountains the uh what's the proper name for them oh we uh shit i don't know so it's the angeles Angeles National Forest right up ahead It's huge But we're going west on on this street one of these streets here So one thing I noticed right away I've waited two light cycles already and the light hasn't switched So I look at the ground and I don't see the circle like the, the the round sensors like you see on LA streets here it's like Glendale they have those cameras see that those cameras looking thing on top of the poles those are the sensors so the cameras kind of pointed that way so it detects when the car drives up that lane it didn't detect me because I crossed over these lines right here so now that it detected these cars it should switch yep there it goes so I gotta make sure I uh, pass through the cameras so they could set off the sensor. Anyway, I got my first uh, pickup here in this really cool looking village here. Saki Sushi Bar and Lounge. Should be here to my left, there it is. Let me do this quick U-turn. Eight bucks. The cool thing about this area is that everything kind of goes uphill. When you come back down, you're going to get a nice view. And, uh, ooh, look, check out this bike. Electric. It's got a dual battery. I want to reach out to them. I would love to use this bike for uh, deliveries. It's perfect. Dual batteries. It's got the big rack in the back. This will be sick. All right. The only downfall about that bike is that it has um, no no suspension, so it might be a little a little crazy on on the might spill drinks, but it's so sick. It's like a cargo bike. I like it. So this is what I mean about this this. Uh, this market it like slowly elevates like up towards the mountains it's kind of cool 
it would suck doing this on the bicycle this area because you're constantly going down and then up down up down up down up electric bike i would just wouldn't be ideal because elevation kills your battery a bit more a little faster i got a double for 13 bucks the deliveries are super close they're probably under a mile both of them so that puts me on 64 bucks first pickups baskin robbins here and tolo sandwiches damn i got two and one Sixty-four daw hairs. Ooh. Cool. Milk milkshake. All right. So five minutes. She told me I gotta go to Baja Fresh. So let's not waste the time. You already know. Multitask. Uber Eats though. It's this is DoorDash, but Uber Eats, it has, I have got a n nothing and there's like no hotspots or anything. So Uber Eats might be a, might be a L today. So let's go to Baja. My lazy ass didn't want to walk. My knee's being a little weird. Hopefully I didn't injure myself working out earlier today. I am rusty. I don't think I worked out in shit man I have no memory of working out as a matter of fact alright this is a big ass milkshake just like be careful I'm like no problem this thing fits my cup holder thing ain't gonna spill for sure where's that cyber truck did you guys spot it been seeing them more and more often here in LA all right so the uh, estimate time to get a delivery went from two to seven minutes to now nine to 19 minutes that is way too long but I'm gonna still give it a shot there's this hot spot here and that where, where I picked up first at Saki Sushi I'll give it another shot around here if not then I'll, I'll probably go to another market it's 642 is dinner time so it should be active I don't know about nine minute wait times man I got a six dollar Taco Bell order I went I pull up and this place was like everybody was working like a what do you call those animals like a sloth there was only one dude hustling, the one making that taco. Everybody else was just slow motion. I ended up just canceling it when I was able to unassign without penalty. I got a $5 one, which is a single item order. But then I got an $11 add-on, which is this place right here. It ended up working out, baby. What, what am I, like a 80 now? 80 bucks? Yep. Check it out, it's got a nice little bridge in here. Cool touch. All right, now the last thing I need is for this to not be ready. But, hello, pick up for Richard. Oh yeah, of course. Bam, 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 thank you. You too. Cutie, hi. All right, so I'm gonna drop this first. No, I actually wanna do this one first. Ooh, by the Descanso Gardens. That's a dope spot. Been there once. This thing feels like it's very tall, so I'm gonna secure it in the back with the panel. Yeah, it's like stacked up. So I'm going to do this to avoid it from tipping over. Alright. Just stay put. 
so the park is on the other side of this hill the one i was talking about i'm actually delivering at the hospital which i have never been to usc verdugo hills hospital it's nice doesn't everything look epic right now all right let me hit on my customer there seems like there's a nice view over there which i'm gonna take a glimpse of because sun's about to dip and after that it's gonna be darkness and around here they just have like those old um old lights it's those very low they're like mid height they look really cool but they don't really illuminate much so it's gonna be very dark drive up the hill go to the main entrance leave at the front desk all right gotcha this is for this small order that order will had a 50 cent tip check this out though that's the site huh sun's about to set too epic looks a helicopter landing right here helipad for emergencies rush people into the hospital And that building is the shape of my panels for my cup holders. Sick. It's a dope shape. I gotta make a logo out of, out of that shape. Thinking about rebranding re the entire backpacks. The name is so hard. All the good stuff's taken. And then everything else that I like is, I don't know. It's just so hard to pick a name for a brand. There's an American flag every hundred streets on this, on the, um, every hundred feet on this street. A lot of patriots here. That means that there's a lot of gun owners here. Nothing against that. That's part of why it looks so safe. I'm familiar with this street here. This is a uh, 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 Chevy Chase, a street that uh, I've gone up and down on many times. And just up ahead is a street that takes you. Oh, it's right there, right next to it. It's the street that takes you to the mountains, Angeles Crest. You can follow that bad boy all the way to. It connects you to Palmdale. Or you can go the other way and it connects you to like Victorville, Vesperia, even even brings you down to San Bernardino if you like. But it starts on this street. Alright. Nice. Got a big old driveway. Super nice. Jesus talk about being rich baby all right so where is the sensor at always have a hard time finding out where the sensor is sometimes it doesn't detect the, the scooter so I gotta like is that the sensor that's a light maybe that's it <laughs> I'm gonna be trapped right here. <laughs> we no, you can't get too close because it opens out. I think the guy's gonna have to unlock it a different way. Maybe if I back up, I'm gonna have to stay here and just have dinner with this dude. Just chill. I'm like, yeah, man, I couldn't get out. <laughs> oh man I'm gonna trigger I'm gonna call the I'm gonna call him again through the thing and then uh so we can uh, unlock it <laughs> but then I'm gonna get locked out oh, shit 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 
call him again. Alright. I think now he can unlock it. Yep. Yep, there it is. <laughs> These damn scooters don't hit the sensors, man. We don't have enough metal. Alright. Beautiful house, man. That guy was cool. He's like, yep, this is the way to do it. Got the GoPro and everything. Check out the hills on that uh, skyline. On that horizon. It's like from like orange all the way up to blue. Nice transition. Sick. I was about to go home. Or like not go home but start going back that way since haven't got any hits. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to go south on uh, the next street there's a hot spot there i'm gonna uh, swing by it if i don't get anything i'm just gonna start heading south because i'm a long way from home all right i got a i got a taco bell order but check this out the drop off it's it's a north on angeles crest road that street that i tell you that can that told you guys that connects to uh all those other cities and goes through the mountains well there's a scenic view like right off where i'm dropping off maybe i just gotta go up maybe like another few more minutes and i'll be at this sick scene scenery and you can see los angeles from out there maybe if it's not too cloudy um, but i gotta pick up at this taco bell that i unassigned earlier i'm gonna try something different this time i'm gonna go through the drive through because it seems like that girl that was working there was prioritizing the drive through and not really paying attention to the people that were waiting so if she tells me to go into the lobby well i'll go ahead and do that but it's worth a try all right let's hit arrive at store oh there's a few cars damn it's probably still faster than what i waited earlier because earlier i was there for like 10 minutes and then I was like, yeah, I'm on the sign. But she tells me to go to the lobby. Look, I can just back up. Whoop, park. Here we go. Hello, how are you? Doing good. I got a DoorDash pickup for Raymond. You have to come inside. All right, but can I get helped? Because last time I came and you guys didn't help me for like 10 minutes. What do you mean? No one helped me for like 10 minutes. I was just waiting in the front. Well, it takes time for them to make the order, so. And they'll leave it there when it's ready. All right. Thank uh, you. It takes time to get the order ready. See, that's why if I just did the drive through, um, they'll have to do it, right? If not, I'll just be stuck there. I think they just do it in order. So I'm at the wait again. But let me see if I can find something to do to give them a little more urgency. Alright, so I waited enough time for me to be able to post a negative review on Google. <laughs> and I was going through the comments. Through the comments are always hilarious. They don't seem to in fail to entertain, but there was someone talking about same problem. So oh there was this large lady who didn't fail to tell me she was on break but she took my order anyway but she she was rude blah 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 one star i didn't hit her with the one star i hit him with two stars just because this last one didn't take that long but yeah girl had an attitude oh here we go we're gonna go to the hills where's that view let's like around here but I'm delivering right here. Damn, I'm delivering to another dope house for a sick view. All right, let's go. This 
is um, some routes for horses. You can ride your horse out here, kind of like bike lanes. Pretty dope. I want a horse. There's this video of some dude doing the del deliveries on a horse. It looked like it was in Mexico because uh, the girls were talking Spanish, and like, you could tell by their accent. The way they're talking Spanish, like, oh, that's a hella Mexican. <laughs> that dude had a, a green backpack for food deliveries, you know? Came through with a source. She must be shaky as hell, though. Drinking, spilling all the drinks. But, uh, all you gotta do is feed your horse. You know, I wonder how much that would cost. What does horses eat? They eat, like, what, grass? Hey, what the fuck they eat? Just gotta pull up to someone's yard. Let that just start growing. Look at these big ass sidewalks. You can skate these. These are like ledges. <laughs> They're not even sidewalks. You know what? They're probably that high. Uh, because of... Uh... Oh man, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um landslides or uh, flash floods stuff like that so it doesn't go up on the curve uh, it doesn't go onto their property it just flows through I like it's like a barrier could be wrong always usually wrong but we're going up this is Angeles Crest we're going up the hills baby so th where I'm dropping off this house is like right on the edge of a canyon so it's gonna have an epic view uh, I'm not going to see it, but I'm pretty excited to see. I always pass by here whenever I go to the mountains. This is like the only road to go up there. I've gone up here on my bike, rode in all the way to Mount Wilson a couple times. It's a brutal ride. This is where it starts getting difficult. It's just incline for like hours, depending on how fast you are. First time took me like six hours. <laughs> Damn! It took me six hours to get to the top. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, it's coming up. It's right here. Somewhere. See? Pretty epic view. Oh damn, it's gonna be one of these big ass houses, son. Alright guys, I gotta cut off real quick. Sick car, bro. <laughs> I think the straw's in there, and uh, here's a drink. It's all should be in there, yeah. The, the, they pack it up. Alright, man. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah, it says that it's frequently missing. But. You need to press this? Let me get out your way. <laughs> El Chingon Racing Pulled up in the Lambo, bro Alright, let's go up there I'm going to show you guys the view I'm talking about So when I went to go pick up Um it said frequently missing the sauces and he asked me about it too <laughs> I was like, well they pack it you know I could have though I could have just uh, asked for sauce on the side but I was just already thinking it's gonna take forever I was like completely distracted by that that I really wasn't thinking about the whole sauces and all that anyway damn dude pulled up in the Lambo that's a first Alright, so it's really, I haven't, I haven't even been driving for like two minutes and the view, it's probably going to be like three more of these twisties. Oh, there it is. There's two of them. Can't really see much though. We'll go to the second one because it's a little bit more on the edge. Here's spot number one. 
shit looks epic and then number two is just up ahead Dang, you can't even see LA It's like cloudy today Yeah, that dude had a sick ass house. I'm gonna look this guy up right now. On IG, he had his IG all on his uh, on his uh Lamborghini. All right, let's head back. It's too dark and it's cloudy. Can't really see anything. Let's go. See the view's epic right here. Oh man, I wish I could show you guys, but the house I delivered to is right there. Jesus. That view is epic. Also motivating me. It also it also motivates me. Seeing these guys uh you know making it, doing it big. Got their big ass house, got their business, got the Lambo. Not that I have to get a Lambo, but it's a uh, it's something that they uh, they got into their you know hard work, success, and all that. It's motivating, inspiring. Woo! One day, baby. All right, I think I'm gonna uh, start heading back back home. It's already eight o'clock. Let's see how far uh, I got. I am far. Let's see. Home. Shit. 25 minutes. <laughs> 20 miles. Jesus. Oh, it's all good. Well, that was a quick. Uh, that was a. That was a fun uh, shift here at like Crescenta Highlands. This whole area is really, really nice. It's like calming. I'll probably live out here when I'm in my 40s, 50s. Buy a mansion like that dude. Uh, Burbank. Right there to the right. And then Los Angeles straight ahead. You can barely see it though. Cloudy night. Dang, I don't know what the fuck I just passed, but it was a straight up, like, I don't know if it was like a big ass chair, or like some kind of big plastic thing, maybe like, maybe a bumper, it was like on this lane on the left hand, on the left side, and I saw it when it was like, I saw it, basically if it was right in front of me, I wouldn't have been able to move out the way. So I could have potentially been on the ground right now. I would have slid far because I was going 60. That would have been nasty. Whoo, man, my heart was racing. <laughs> Damn, I just dodged death. It was like, I was right here and that thing passed by right here on the left. Boom. I could not see it. There was no cars around me though, that was good. So I would have just slid. And it was like downhill, so I would have went. I would have slid far, man. Good thing I have the gear for it. But still. <laughs> that would have sucked. My bike would have flew, man. That means that someone would probably would have crashed into the bike. They could crash into me. What if like I, I, I messed my leg up or something? I would have to crawl out the way, but you know there could be a chance too that uh, I didn't get out of the way fast enough. And it is nighttime, so if I wasn't able to see that cone, what are the, the odds of that a car wasn't able to see me? Man, shit ain't no joke on the freeway. 
y'all made it home safe aside from almost hitting that damn obstacle <laughs> but we live to hustle another day all right guys so thanks you thank you guys for, for watching i'll catch you guys on the next video peace